it is the recognition that the persistence of the species is not as threatened as it once was. Jackson County Commissioner Bob Strasser is on Jackson County's Wolf Advisory Committee. He says the delisting of the gray wolf from the endangered species list is a good thing. It shifts regulatory powers out of the federal government's hands. Uh, the idea of returning management or control to state and tribal officials would be something that uh, would be looked on very favorably. U.S. Representative Greg Walden, who, like Commissioner Strasser as a Republican, said he approves. In a statement, he said the change allows for a more streamlined management of gray wolves. He authored a bill to remove gray wolves from the list in the U.S. House in 2016. Wolves occupy about 15 percent of the area they once roamed, but federal officials argue that's enough for them to not be under imminent threat. No reason to believe the wolves are expanding. We're, we're getting reports from the public from different areas. Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife organized meetings to help ranchers deal with the rising wolf population in the region last fall. No matter what options are tried to do anything that is non-lethal, they're intelligent and they learn quickly. Strasser says more options are a good thing for Oregonians to defend themselves and their property against wolves. Ability to interact will be greatly enhanced. You won't have to go all the way to Washington, D.C. and officials there to be able to take action or do something. But Governor Kate Brown doesn't agree. A statement from the governor's office says in part, quote, the science for wolf population management in the U.S. has not changed. The timing of this proposed change to the federal wolf protection is suspect and needlessly politicizes the issue. Our wolf recovering plan is working in Oregon. We don't need the federal administration to fix something that isn't broken." End quote. Grace Smith, NBC5 News.